bust over your top people. Oh, nice. So twice the month. Rotating around, but they like Maui. Really. Yeah. Oh, okay. We know Maui really. Um, here we have a scene. Have you heard the saying Maui no kaoi? No kaoi. Simply the best. There you go. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's relaxed, laid back, you know. And you have enough of your modern convenience to keep you going. You want to kick it up a notch? 20, 25 minute flight to the island of Oahu will do the trick. Yeah. Okay, everyone get your map. But this is where you can follow along what the journey would entail for you today. <laughs> okay, now when you look at the uh, map of the island of Maui, first of all, we see the island of Maui shaped like a baby. Oh, oh, Okay, so today's journey will entail in the entire circling of the body of the island of Maui. Okay. Okay, and to the right of us here is Haleakala. Okay. Haleakala. Haleakala meaning house of the sun or house used by the sun, standing 10,023 feet. It's a national park? At the top of the crater, yes. The national park. Now what's popular is going to the top of the crater to view the sunrise. The sunrise view. And uh, the mountain bike ride down. And mountain bike ride down. Uh, you just have a snowman on the hood of your car, watch it melt on the way down. Something like that. Also there is snow. There is snow, yeah, on, on Haleakala. The island of Hawaii, where you visited before, um, there, Mauna Loa, Mauna Kea, it'll receive enough snow during this time of year that you can ski on the island of Hawaii. Yeah, that's possible there. You can, you know, ski and then come down the mountain there and, and surf in the same day. Agriculture took off, but through uh, 
you know, the labor pool here in Ireland wasn't big enough to support an easy shoot like so that was taking place here. So that's when they brought over all of these uh, immigrants and the influence here in the island became a part of life. It, it, it's what, you know, Hawaii is uniquely known today. <laughs> all of these uh, influences. So right now they're talking agriculture, you know, diverse, uh, diversifying farm, flash sugar. Well, mainly, it, it, you know, uh, for many reasons, but mainly the cost to produce here in Ireland, labor costs in particular, uh, uh, I've heard expensive. Of, like, for example, with cows, so the meat that um, you guys have in Hawaii, you don't export them at all. You just use it within the island because it's so good. The, the, they do export. They do export? Yeah. Oh, okay. They did do, but um, they're having, they mentioned about uh, these different uh, diversified, you know, possibilities. Okay, so here's the Maui Lani Golf Course. Right here, we're gonna go to the dining room for breakfast room. Okay, so we'll be here to uh, 7.55, okay? And in Russian before we leave, the next restroom stop from here is just over an hour. Uh, journey away.
출근한다고 빵하는데 사진 안 찍어요? 저기 한번 보여서 한번 하나 They all became automatic U.S. citizens. 그래서 여기 왔던 이제 3세대, 4세대 중국, 일본 이주민들이 자동적으로 이제 미국인이 됐어요. Yeah, this was good for them, but bad for the plantation owners. Now they were citizens; they didn't have to work in the fields anymore. They could go anywhere they wanted to in the United States to find work. 이제 그 이주민들한테 좋지만 그게 이제 미국 이 농장 종 농장주들한테 안 좋죠. 왜냐면 미국인들이니까 이제 다이너마이트에. And uh, the sugar industry uses about 200 million gallons, and the other 100 million gallons a day goes to Kihei and Wailea, where you're staying. Um, now, right up here, where all these palm trees are, is an area called Sprecklesville. Klaus Spreckel was the one that started raising sugar in the islands here. He was a close friend of the King Kalakaua. Yeah. Oh, who's the name? King Kalakaua. Well, that's going to be hard, hard to pronounce in Hawaiian. King K. King K. Yeah. There you go. So. <laughs> 哇,你的中文真好。比我女儿都好。This <笑> <对, 笑> had its hundredth anniversary five years ago. Very special guests come over. The 14th Dalai Lama. I told my wife, we go what we go see the Dalai Lama. Yeah, so we show up early. In all the United States. Very expensive, maybe one hundred fifty dollars per person for <laughs> dinner. Yeah. He's the only guy that keeps an ambulance in the parking lot. That's for when you get your bill. You know? <laughs> so you don't have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> it is. These waves today, the waves today, small. These may be three to five feet. Okay. These waves can get forty feet. Forty. Oh yeah, Kawabunga. Are we, uh, we stop here? Are we stopping here? Oh, I'm just pulling over so you can see the waves. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. There we go. Wow, that's exciting. If they want to go out and take pictures, that's okay. And what's the name of this place? Ho'okipa. Ho'okipa? Ho'okipa. H-O-O-K-I-P-A. Do you have your green map on you? Oh, yeah, yeah, we the green map? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, let me show you what we're doing here today. Okay. Yeah, let me, let me show that. Okay. Now, when I pick you up this morning, the hotel, right here, Wailea. Okay. We come over here, this is breakfast. Now, today we're going around in a circle, all the way around. So, Ho'okipa is right here. See where it says Ho'okipa? Okay. Okay. Very good. Ooh, there we go again. Come on. Yeah. You surf? I do. Everybody in Hawaii Well, I came over here when I graduated. I went. I'm from Palo Alto, California. I came over here in 1973. I graduated high school. Me and four friends came for a 10-day surfing vacation. Oh, it's been 42 years. That's <laughs> okay. There we go. Very nice. Look at that. Go, baby. Taking uh, seasick pills or anything, or motion sickness? You need to take it now. Don't wait. Yeah. 
Very good. But native palm trees are always on the shoreline. So, when the native palms mature, they grow up, they grow coconuts. That is the seed of the tree. So, so when the coconut falls, okay, it's very heavy because it's filled with water. It can survive on that water for 90 days. You mean the sea can survive? How tall are they? This is lunch. Go go go! Wow, you know what they do? Kikaru no asuka? Kikai mogul kisu saru ga? Go go go! 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 Hmm. Uh, I'm tagging uh, 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 Okay, okay. Okay, and fuck. Oh, okay. Light-colored trees here on the left. Yeah. Another cocoa nut. Another use was the uh, the fishermen would take the oil and carry it around these big containers. When they were fishing, if the water's choppy, you can't see through it. You pour oil into the water, it creates a flat spot, like a slick. They could like it act as a window. They could look through, continue fishing. 이제 낚시하실 때 물이 자꾸 이렇게 일렁일렁이면 안에가 잘안 보이는데 겉에다 오히려 그 열매 기름진 열매 뿌려놓으면 뭔가 그 막을 형성해서 안에가 완전 투명. 오, 그렇구나. You see a lot of people out here wearing these highly polished brown and black kukui nuts around their neck, especially at the hotels, yeah. 호텔에 가면 그 이렇게 하와이 그 셔츠 중에 나무 모양이 그 kukui 나나. For the jewelry, yeah. And then the biggest. Or the second biggest use was for. 
<laughs> it just kills everything. Now this hillside over here where all the bamboo is used to look like this one on the left. Mm. <laughs> Bamboo is considered the grass family. It's the tallest, 60 to 80 feet. It's underground. Yeah. So he puts pig in every evening underground at about 6 o'clock, pulls it out 10 o'clock the next morning. Shreds it apart, sells these foot long pulled pork sandwiches. Yeah, very good. Famous place. But real good business, flower farm. Yeah. This here, Garden of Eden. Garden of Eden. Yeah. There's big demand for tropical flowers. And There's a little bay down here called Hono Manu. Uh, there's a, uh, a valley called Hono Manu Valley. Now, Hono means valley, Manu means bird. This is where the Hawaiians used to trap a lot of birds, Hono Manu. Meanwhile, the bay down here, Hono Manu Bay, is home to one of my favorite sea creatures called the Honu, which is a Hawaiian green sea turtle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The sea turtle has a two chamber heart, yeah? It can slow down its breathing to once every, or heartbeat to once every eight minutes. Gives them the ability to stay underwater four hours. Stay up to four hours. Yeah, once every eight minutes. Yeah. It's a sign of good luck, good fortune. Yeah, see? This is where the road's starting to slant, huh? Where taro farmers live. Yeah. Taro's the main 
staple in the uh, Polynesian diet. This is where they get all their nutrition. They dig out a taro patch. It could be about 10, 15 feet wide, maybe 20, 30 feet long. Dig down a couple feet. Flood it with water. All the way down, they would start terracing more and more taro patches. Top to bottom, you could have anywhere from 20 to 100 taro patches. So the water will flow from the top patch through every single one all the way down.